of celebrated journalist and historian Hilary Boniface Mueno, the country's first Kenyan editor-in-chief. In the following report, the death of a media icon, veteran journalists celebrate the life of their senior colleague. Let us listen in. I remember the very first time I met Hilary Ngueno. I was uh, at the School of Journalism and the director at the time, his name is Mr. Maura, Dr. Maura now. He asked myself and a colleague, uh, Peter, to go and see Hilary Ngueno. Hilary had asked for the two top students to go and see him for a job, and it was before we even did exams. So I remember walking to his office and really being overwhelmed because at that time, and even until today, Hilary was such a revered figure. I had just finished an uh, internship at uh, The Nation and on that Friday I walked over to his offices at the Weekly Review and I told him I finished my internship at uh, Nation, I would like a job as a sub-editor. So he gave me a, uh, a story, told me to go to the newsroom, I edited it, he told me to wait, 30 minutes later he came back and told me, you did well in the interview, when would you like to start? See? Monday. And that's it. It was what I call learning from the master. It was better than any university, any media school. And not just me. All the people I was working with at that time in the newsroom, 1986 onwards, none of them had been to journalism school. They learned from Hillary on the job. And of course, it was not just any journalism but a superior journalism. Most of us would remember Hilary Ngueno as a very keyed in journalist, mm. very deeply uh, um, attuned to the stories of the day, uh, a man of very sharp intellect mm, and very objective in his analysis. What amazed me about him is that he had faith in us. We had just come from school, we just graduated, and he never doubted our ability. As you walked in, he just gave you an assignment and he made you feel confident that you can do it. He supported all of us to grow in our careers, professionally, and provided a conducive environment for that. He helped to mentor me patiently, but also he could also be very rough. He is not the sort of person he tells you one thing today and then you make the same mistake again. He would have no patience with that. He was very much in demand um, by all the movers and shakers in this country. Government, uh, diplomats, international organizations. But he absolutely was not part of the uh, cocktail, what you call the cocktail circuit. It's a bit of, um, of a contradictory life. You need to build connections and networks, but at the same time you don't want to expose yourself eh, to them misusing you. And what I think that he has left to this country is a legacy for telling the truth and uh, doing high quality work. He would come to the office very early and leave very late. He'd briefly go for lunch, uh, he'd go to a place near a city market, and then come back before two o'clock, he's back in the office and work, work, work. Hillary lived for his work. In fact, his children remarked somewhere that the only day he rested was on Christmas Day. For him, professionalism was key, integrity was key. And I think those are the things that, uh, that is how we grew up, what we learned from him, and that is what we have to keep emphasizing even today as we try to shape the careers of uh, young journalists. We are truly standing on shoulders of giants. Now, spots coming up.